Welcome back. President Biden's student loan bailout turning into a total debacle. The legal fight now headed to the Supreme Court. But remember when the big guy bribed voters and said the cash handout was just weeks away? Remember this? We're going to win that case. It's, I, I think in the next two weeks, you're going to see those checks going out. That's 16 million people who will be hearing from the Department of Education that they've been approved and who should be seeing relief in the coming days. Yeah, they should be, but it's pretty much an illegal cash grab. That was back in November. It is now December, and the president hasn't paid up yet. And the Supreme Court will take up this case in February, which means we likely won't know their decision until next June. But the Biden administration not waiting. His education secretary has begun notifying student loan borrowers that they are approved for up to $20,000 in university party cash. Uh, but he's going to have to take that one back. Um, so, Harold, my big issue with this is that it has turned into uh, this political debate as to whether or not the government owes you a college education. So Elizabeth Warren is going after Republicans. Why don't we go after these colleges and universities who are making college so expensive and keep raising tuition prices uh, without giving us more professors and more learning? I agree with you 100 percent. So the Supreme Court's going to talk here, going to speak here, and they will, they will resolve this matter. We'll all have to follow, uh, follow what they say. First, and the question is whether or not he has administrative authority to do this. He being, we'll say she one day, but whether or not the president has the authority to do it and the judge doesn't think so. I actually happen to think that the president has the authority to do it, but I don't like what they did because I think what you're saying is the more important thing. First of all, we should prioritize what we're going to, if we're going to forgive debt for some kids, the professions and the kinds of things we need more people doing. And as, as well, we need to incentivize people going into certain things. And two, you raise the most important point. We'll come back and do this every three to five to seven to ten years because Colleges are raising these tuitions. I don't know what kids and what families and more importantly, what the overall society is getting when you double tuition over three or four years. Uh, are we healthier? Are we more productive? Are we producing uh, better kids? Are we producing better citizens, smartest? I don't think that is the case. So if I were the president, Again, I would convene the presidents of these universities. By the way, I yeah. like Halibut, too. <laughs> I, I would convene the presidents of these universities, private and public alike, and say, <laughs> what are you doing? What are the upward pressures? Mm -hmm. And what can we do to contain them? Because ultimately, we as taxpayers are the ones not only paying the tuition, but we're also paying for the fact that we're not producing graduates who are taking the jobs, taking the, taking the, uh, the risk that we need as a society and as a country to succeed going forward. So I agree with you. Yeah, and it's affecting their lives because if they owe this much in student loan debt, that means they're having to put off other major life decisions. That means depopulation, Judge. Uh, but but let's go to some of these. Well, bring in the illegals. They'll populate. That's what they want. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, they said that. You know any hot ones? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> JK. Oh, okay. Um, okay, but Judge, this is, there are two lawsuits that are happening yeah. concurrently. Right. Uh, and, and that is sort of what's fast-tracking it to the Supreme Court. Right. What, what do we expect to see from the Supreme Court? How could they rule on this? All right. The Fifth and Eighth Circuits um, have, have made a decision that, you know, they're going to pause and they're blocking the, the movement of the money in the Supreme Court, of course, scheduled to hear, as you say, in uh, February. We'll hear in June. And they are blocking uh, any issuance of any money. And, and Joe Biden is clueless. So he's saying the money's coming, the money's coming. But he, I don't think he has any idea. Um, a lot of the lawsuits, we talked about this before, Harold, the re Republican lawsuits were dismissed for lack of standing. The Supreme Court now believes that in Missouri, because Missouri has uh, the, uh, the Missouri Higher Education Loan Authority that funds most colleges or an incredible amount of money, that they do have the standing. The issue is whether the 2003 HEROES Act, which was meant for the military in the beginning, uh, is available to people in, uh, in, to, to forgive student loans. It makes no sense to me. We're no longer in an emergency. And you know what? If you want to give money away, make it across the board. Give it to senior citizens who are on a fixed income who can't afford the inflation. All right? Give it to people who bought a, an F-150, as Dana always talks about, a truck to start a company. You you know, uh, I think that the Supreme Court is going to say it's not an emergency, and they're going to say you do not have the power of the purse. Congress does, Mr. President. So shut up, and you're not getting the money. <laughs> I wonder if, if they're like actually that? going to write that down in the decision. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> shut up. So, 
Uh, Jim, I think about you with this story because you are a self-made man. You Thank are also you. one of the most uneducated people I know. <laughs> ever, should, ever, ever. should successful ah! community college dropouts be on the hook oh, with this tax to pay for other people's <laughs> bad college decisions? No, it's a scam. When I was sitting in my classroom, uh, next to a 35-year-old man who was in a high chair, and we were playing Xbox <laughs> in the community college. I did apply myself and make my way. Uh, this is a scam. You know what it's like? It's like Obamacare in that the name doesn't address the issue. The Affordable Care Act drove up premiums to the point that our co-pays got so high, I had to crash my car because my car insurance deductible was better than my Cadillac plan payment. <laughs> but it's so stupid because what happened here is they didn't forgive loans, as we know. They didn't address the issue. They're just passing the bill on to everybody else. But the judges are in a bad spot because they do pressure Supreme Court judges now. And it's worse than ever because a lot of these kids have already spent the money on new scooters and cars, so they'll go right to the judge's house if this gets overturned, which I am against, okay? But the one thing I never, you know, really got mad about when they were doing the Roe versus Wade program protests is, yeah, they shouldn't be outside of Justice's home, but a lot of those women needed the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my garden. They knew this was a loser. President Biden knew that he could wave his little wand, and it, it was really just symbolic, wasn't it? And now he's running on the Republicans are trying to block my bribes. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And bribes work. If Judge yeah. Janine was to take off her diamond necklace right now and give it to me, I would do just about anything. Really? And if she That's was to throw in the diamond rings, I'd do it twice. God That's how effective that. bribes work. He likes halibut, too. <laughs> yeah, wow. And now bribes are the cornerstone of the Democratic Party. I mean, uh -huh. you got welfare. Foreign aid, free college, earmarks, those are bribes. But you know what they do, Kennedy? They call them relief. Well, I think we need some relief from the bribes because that's our money. And we're going to go broke from all these bribes. Absolutely right. We need to make the government smaller. Taxation is theft. We need to get the government out of higher education. And we need more of the five, which is coming up in moments. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.